towards the basket. Passes away. Hello once again and welcome to another episode of Inside IUE Sports. I'm your host Caleb Gillock and we've got another great show on the way for you here today. I'm joined today with head coach Tiffany Selhorst of the women's basketball team to talk a little bit about her team. Coach, thanks for joining me. Uh, glad to be here. Well, uh, let's just start off by talking uh, last year. Great season, great run for the Red Wolves. Just tell us a little bit about it. Um, yeah, last year was a lot of fun. Um, we performed... Uh, above expectations, I think. Uh, that's what happens when you have some, finally have some upperclassmen that uh, can take over. Sure. And um, it helps that we had a couple all conference players and uh, an All American to help lead the team. And um, yeah, we, you know, I think from the beginning of the season last year, we knew that we were going to be good, but it was going to be hard work. Right. And we definitely put that. Uh, hard work into action and, you know, I think surprise some people in the nation. Yeah. Well, a few new uh, pieces this year to the team, but uh, what's that transition going to be like picking up from last year carrying into this year? Um, I think it's, it's going to be a little bit harder this year, um, but I'm really optimistic about what this team can do because now that first year right. of – of, of kids I recruited will be seniors, um, and they're they're running the team, right. which uh, <laughs> is exciting for me as a coach to see them really take hold of this program. We'll talk about those five seniors coming up here in a little bit, but uh, already starting practices, those run away. How are those going? Oh, uh, practices. Actually, uh, this is probably one of the best years we've had uh, to start the season. Um, we got a couple of freshmen that are really uh, adapting well. Um, it, like I said before, it's it's good to have some upperclassmen really be able to lead. Uh, this is probably one of the best years, uh, best starts that we've had to the season in practices. Every, every day has been a tough practice, um, and I think we're getting better every day, which is probably one of the first times right. I could say that. <laughs> well, it's a good problem to have. And you also talked a little bit about off the air a practice squad coming in this year to help you guys out that's really eager to get in there and help the girls get better. Yes, um, we have had consistently about six guys that will come in um, that are pretty talented uh, that really help us. And we talk about every day, you know, when, when we can learn how to beat this group of guys, we can beat anybody in the nation. But mm -hmm. uh, we're really thankful to have uh, guys that are committed to coming in and practicing with us. Um, and by practice, I don't mean just come in and do some drills. Uh, Often these guys right. are getting on the line and running when they lose. Um, you know, they're they're running up and down the court. They're doing their burpees on the side. Whatever it is, uh, these guys are committed, and that's I'm very thankful for that. Well, it's going to be nice to have that kind of dedication to your program. It is. It is. <laughs> very. All right. Well, uh, let's look a little bit ahead to the schedule. What are some of the games you've already got circled before the season's even underway? Well, let's start with Marion. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually play them twice. And, you know, my philosophy has always been, I say this every year, that uh, to be the best, you got to play the best. And sure. they're coming off of their second uh, national championship. Um, I'm, I'm friends with their head coach, and I, you know, I said we're, we might be glutton for uh, punishment here, but I want to, I want to keep playing them. Um, that team is a, is a very good team, and I want to be able to someday uh, beat them <laughs> and have some bragging rights with her. Um, the other ones, you know, our conference is going to be really up in the air this year. We've had a lot of uh, changeover and recruiting, and um, I'm excited for all of that. Uh, we are in, to, before we get to conference, we're playing uh, down in Tennessee, um, and we're playing uh, Southeastern University and Georgetown, um, two very, very good teams, so that will yeah. kind of help us know where we're at. Uh, we've got uh, Olivet uh, Nazarene, who we have played before uh, at Nationals as well, if sure. you guys remember that, two mm -hmm. years ago where, um, yeah, they, they wore us <laughs> out that first game. It was yeah. a lot of fun to play, but we're going to go ahead and play them for real. 
um, St. Francis, uh, both in Fort Wayne and in Illinois. Both of them went to nationals last year. St. Francis, Fort Wayne is very young, uh, or they were young last year, but they, you know I can relate to, to what he's doing up there. And uh, the, they've got a really yeah. solid team coming back. So excited about playing them, kind of. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, that should be a good game. St. Francis, Illinois made it to the Final Four last year. Um, very another very good team very very deep uh, they are under new coaching uh, a head coach there but uh, I have a lot of respect for coach Brooks and I know that he's gonna have them ready by the time we play them unfortunately <laughs> well we knew you had a tough non-conference schedule last yes. year but it sounds like maybe kicked it up a few notches this year yes I, <laughs> I like to do that um, with as many seniors as we have coming back um, I really felt like we could make a splash sure. nationally. Um, so yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to schedule tough teams this year right. uh, to see how we could really do. So I'm excited about it. Yeah, right well, now. Let's uh, go ahead and right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and talk about your team this year. You talked about having five seniors coming back. Uh, before we talk about them individually, just talk about that senior group that's stuck it out and's here in year four. Well. Obviously, this is a very special group to me. Mm -hmm. um, this is the first group that uh, I recruited when I started the program four years ago. Um, you know, I can't say enough about uh, this group of girls that stuck it out. Uh, it, you know, we knew we had a lot of talent coming in when they were com becoming freshmen, but like any group, you kind of got to grow into the system. And we're finally to a point now where they're where they're running it, and mm -hmm. that's really excited exciting uh, for a head coach. Um, it's it's going to be a tough senior night for me, but don't tell them I said that, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to to see what this group wants to do. They're very mm. motivated. They're very focused. Uh, they're it's just going to be it's going to be a fun year for them. Right. Well, uh, just start off by telling us a little bit about T.A. King. Uh, <laughs> I could probably talk a whole program about <laughs> Tia. Um, no, <laughs> she's she has had a great off season. Um, you want to talk about a kid that is focused and ready for this year. Uh, she's got some some big goals for her and big goals for the team, and I'm excited about what she can do. Obviously, coming off of being uh, the best player in the conference last year, um, she has continued to build on that this off season and and wants to repeat doing that right. uh which she's got a, a a core group of girls behind her that mm -hmm. is going to be very special um you know the thing about tia and her game is she is she has one of the quickest shots and can create her own shot and a lot sure. of times on the sideline i'm sitting there going no 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 don't you okay great shot great shot you know <laughs> um i think Maybe you remember last year her scoring 14 points in about two minutes the whole time I'm t in my head on the sideline saying, no, 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 okay, good job, good job, good shot. Um, but she's one of those players that can attack and get to the basket, uh, and then you play off of her, and then she's going to do a step back three in your face. Um, her defense is probably the most improved over the last three years. Uh, I'm excited for that because that's going to give her uh, a longer stat line and, and help her um, as we go forward and looking for right. uh, national recognition with her. And how about Kristen Miller? Kristen. Uh, another very improved player. Um, you know, she's always going to have that special place in my heart because she's a point guard and she's from my hometown. Um, so she can she can verify that I have been extra hard on her the last mm -hmm. three years. Um, but she has improved a lot. Uh, her main focus has been defense. I think you guys could see in last year's uh, game against Purdue Northwest, mm -hmm. um, she locked down one of the best players in the country and held her to, I think, 14 points or 12 points or whatever. Um, that, that was all Kristen in, mm -hmm. in her head. And when she gets focused and gets confidence on her, in her defense, um, we're just a better team. Right. Um, he, you know, she has also widened her game with being able to attack. There's not a lot of people that can stay in front of her offensively because she's so quick. 
so she can get to the basket. She has improved on being able to finish on both sides of the basket. Last year we were a little shaky on the left side, but um, she's getting a lot better at being able to attack and get to the basket there. Um, you also saw in the national game she could hit some threes. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we, you know, we're excited about how she, her and Tia working together can really widen uh, widen our offense and, and make us hard to guard. Yeah. Well, another player that was nice to have back last year was Mackenzie Campbell. Tell us a little bit about her. Well, talk about focused. Um, she has been very focused uh, to start this season and in practice. Um, she's another player you just don't know how to guard. Uh, she's been working on her game inside. Uh, she's got some moves inside that's going to help us really finish. Mm -hmm. um, she's been working on her three-point shot. She's been very, very consistent in practice and being able to hit that. Uh, so I'm excited to see her be able to bring that. Um, another area is her defense. She if you could see, she wasn't the greatest at defense uh, the last, maybe her freshman year, sophomore year, she sat out. She got better last year. This year, she's she's ready to guard um, some of those players that are very versatile. She can guard inside and she can guard outside. She got a lot smarter on defense. Um, not the quickest player, but very smart on defense, which right. is going to be very helpful for us. But Yes, offensively, uh, she's going to be hard to guard. You're right. not, you're not going to be able to know what she's going to do. She can go in and post up, or she can stand outside and shoot threes all day. All right, and how about Bailey Dryman? Bailey, um, well, right now she is going to probably take this first semester off and help us on the sidelines. Uh, we're really excited for her, but she just had a, a, a baby, um, a little girl, my first red wolf uh, baby, so we're we're excited for her. Um, we'll we'll kind of see w how she's feeling and if she wants to come back and play. Um, y you know, I I'm really hopeful that she does, but sure. you know, being a mother, there's a lot of uh, responsibility that goes into that. So we'll kind of see where she's at, but she is involved in every part of our team right now. Um, I know she's excited to get even back to the sidelines to help the girls and help motivate them. Um, if she does come back and play this year, you know, she's one of those kids you can't take off the, the court, you right. can't take out of the game. Again, in the national game, I keep going back to that against Purdue Northwest. I, you know, she was doing so well, I didn't even notice that she played 40 minutes. Um, she's a rebounder. She's the heart and soul of the team. She gets on the uh, floor for loose balls. Um, she's very smart on defense. Doesn't score a lot of points, but you know, talking about the first three girls that we were talking about, she doesn't need to. She just right. needs to do the little things, and she's she accepted that role. So I'm hoping that at some point she'll decide to come back this year. Okay. And how about Deja Boyd? Deja. Um, you know, <clears throat> Deja's going to be one of those uh, role players this year. She's um, phenomenal inside and the inside game for only being 5'6". Mm -hmm. I don't know how she can uh, score sometimes in there <laughs> against some bigger players, uh, but she can. She's battling some injuries right now. Um, we'll see how she comes back. We want her at full strength to be able to come back and be able to play defense uh, as well. But uh, yeah, Deja's one of those players that she can score on the inside and nobody knows how she can score on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that she's really good at and, and uh, you can see is if you're sleeping on her behind the three point line, she's gonna hit it in your eye. So uh, we're excited about right. Deja when she gets back to full strength. All right, well, there you have it. Coach Selhorst talking about the five seniors on the Red Wolves roster this season. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk about the underclassmen next here on Inside IUE Sports. This is where a busy mom can work toward a bachelor's degree from a top national university during softball practice. It's where a service member can continue his college studies from anywhere in the world and where you'll benefit from one of the country's most effectively delivered online programs. Woohoo! So, if you've ever wondered if a college education is really worth it, this is where you'll see that it is. This is Indiana University East Online. Life can sometimes be chaotic. 
And with small children, it can be difficult to get to the doctor. Hi, Mrs. Towns. How are you doing? I have a sick little boy right here. I think he might have an ear infection. With Reed Health Now virtual visits, you don't even need to leave your home. I'll send in a prescription for him. Quick, easy, convenient. I don't want to take the kids out today. Oh, hey, Doc. Reed Health, right beside you, right now. What if a home phone could also be a smartphone? And what if that home phone could save you money on your home and wireless bill at the same time? With Xfinity Voice, you get amazing technology like readable voicemail on your smartphone, caller ID on your TV, and even text messaging, all for a low price. Start saving with unlimited nationwide talk and text and switch to Xfinity Voice for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Almost done. Now you can pay your bill, manage your appointments, and check your connection status. Anytime, anywhere. Oh, so you're protesting? Okay. Introducing Xfinity My Account, available on any device. And welcome back to Inside IUE Sports. I just finished talking with Coach Sel Horst about the five seniors on the roster as well as her outlook on the upcoming season. Now it's time to talk about the underclassmen. Coach, let's go ahead and start off with the junior class and talk about Libby Springmeyer. Okay. Um, Libby has been working hard. I would say she's probably uh, put in more work than anybody else in the offseason, and it shows. Mm -hmm. um, we've been talking about how, you know, we, we got to use that wingspan that she has. Has, um, and she's been doing a great job in practices first couple weeks at uh, getting better at that and and keeping her hands up on defense. Um, she's also been doing a lot of strengthening exercises for her ankles that that will also help her on defense. Um, she's uh, we named her captain this year and she's yeah. been doing a great job um, being able to lead and I think. If I had to guess, she's probably going to be the biggest surprise. You know, it's easy with the senior class, um, knowing what to expect with with them. But right. with Libby, I think she's going to surprise some people in what she's been able to uh, accomplish in the off season and then carry over into the season. And she's one of those players you've seen the how she's increased and gotten better each year from her freshman year. Yes. Uh, if anything, I, I tease her a lot because when she came in her freshman year, I always call her a noodle uh, because <laughs> before she got into that weight room, she was kind of a noodle. Now right. she's uh, one of the hardest working kids in our weight room and you can tell she's she's put on some muscle and she's gotten stronger and she's gotten some smarter on uh, offense and defense and like I said she's going to be our biggest surprise probably. I shouldn't right. say that and hopefully none of my people <laughs> uh, opponents are watching this. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Well how about uh, Sarah Cook? <laughs> Sarah uh, another junior that has come back very focused. I know that she wants to uh, help the senior class go off with a bang. Mm -hmm. um, been working hard both on and off the court for us. Uh, she's been battling some injuries here in preseason. Um, so I, I'm not really sure what she can do yet, uh, but we're excited about the possibilities for her to come back in the best shape that she's been in since she's been here at IU East. Um, she can hit threes, she can post up inside, uh, she can box you out and push you uh, 10 feet back. Um, she's becoming a vocal leader on the court and especially in the post, which right. is what we need. Um, so we're excited about seeing what Sarah Cook can bring to us this year. All right, move on and talk about the returning sophomores. Start off with Haley Conway. Haley, uh, another one, <laughs> a very improved player. Um, you know, Haley came out of high school 
at being one of the players that uh, sixth, seventh, eighth man off her bench um, because she played behind two Division One players. Mm -hmm. um, I know that she wasn't heavily recruited because because of that. She didn't get sure. a lot of playing time, but um, she has been working with Coach Moore on everything that deals with being a post. Uh, we are getting her uh, more consistent inside. She's posting up. Uh, I think about every practice, the team goes crazy on some kind of post move that she does that sends the boys, you know, in the other direction. Um, she's she's very improved. She's she's running up and down the floor a lot better, um, and and she wants to be a part of something special this year. And she's going to get some playing time because of what she's done in the off season. So in the past, we've seen her more in the forward type role. So maybe more of a center type role this year. For Definitely going to be in the center role. Um, yeah, I, one thing that we are still working on with Haley is her lateral movement and being able to play defense on the outside. But right now, I think she's better inside and guarding the post and probably one of our best players uh, for post defense. Okay, and how about Hannah Blakely? Hannah, um, Hannah's also been kind of battling some injuries here, but you know, I think she's going to really accept a role as being uh, an outside shooter for us. She's been very consistent in it when she has been able to practice. Um, you know, when we're able to get into the paint and get a kick out there, I, she's been consistently hitting down those threes um, offensively, and I think that's what we're going to do with her and make her role be for us this year. Um, defensively, we're still working on, you know, just being able to uh, be smarter because she's not the quickest person uh, on defense, but um, she's, she's got a very high basketball IQ, which has shown she's being a great vocal leader and helping our freshmen just get acclimated. Um, and again, when she gets healthy uh, for this season, uh, which we're trying to work on right now, right. Um, I think that it, it's going to be a it's going to be a good shift for her to see her role increase on this team. Okay. Well, let's move on and talk about the uh, newcomers. Yeah. Uh, just start off by telling us a little bit about those three as a whole. Um, well, we've got uh, two guards that are coming in and one center uh, or a post coming in. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it um, with Sybil. Uh, she is a transfer from Owens Community College that um, I believe went undefeated or only lost one game last year. Uh, she was an, a very important role for them. Uh, we're excited about her speed and her defense. I think she's going to be able to kind of relieve some pressure on our guards uh, out there and be able to play some defense on them. Um, she comes in as a junior, so that leadership is already there. Uh, she, you know, and she's very quick to adapt to our offense and defensive uh, mm. philosophies, which has been very helpful. Right. Um, Amani Reese, she is coming off of a uh, injury from last year as a senior. Um, we're, we're slowly trying to get her acclimated to the speed of the college game. Um, She's she, what she needs to kind of understand is that it's going to take a little bit for her to get there. Uh, you know, she's very uh, competitive and wants to be able to play right away and be right where she was when she was a junior in high school. And uh, we just need to get her to understand that she needs to get some strength, understand the game. It's really important right now that she uh, steps back and learns what we're trying to do. And then when she, she is able to play at full strength, uh, to be able to come in and, and do the things that we want her to do. Um, one of the reasons why we recruited her was not so much for her scoring, but because she's a pass first point guard. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, we're excited that she can create some things and get some players open and then be able to kick it out and, and uh, get some assists for us. All right, how about Amanda? Amanda is, uh, we're really excited about what Amanda can do. Uh, she's a very versatile post. Um, we're having her step out onto the perimeter, which she's not as uh, acclimated to because she's always played inside for her high school team. Mm -hmm. um, but she has a very quick first step when she's out there. Um, she is a rebounding machine and able to put it back and put it back in yeah. with some contact. So. Um, She's, she's quick at running the floor. 
Uh, she's going to be able to help us again widen our offense and create for, for some of those bigger scores that we have this year uh, because she is so consistent on the inside. So um, we're, we're excited about what Amanda can bring to this team as well. All right. Well, you talked a little bit about Sybil being a transfer into the program this yes. year. Is a deal where you guys recruited her or she reached out to you guys? Well, her uh, coach from Owens had reached out to me first um, and gave me some film, things like that. I had worked with him in the past uh, and, and watched some of that film and was like, okay, this is, this is a kid that I can see coming in right away and being able to contribute uh, on some film. So um, then we met Sybil, had her come up. She's a great kid. She's a hardworking student, uh, has a great uh, family. So we just felt like she was somebody that, that could really fit in and, like I said, be able to contribute right away. All right. Well, uh, now that we know the roster, that first game quickly approaching, coming up on November 4th here at home, uh, just tell us a little bit about that matchup. <laughs> Indiana Westland, um, they are under a new coaching change as well, so they're going to be a surprise this year. Um, mm. Not exactly sure what what kind of offense. I think last year we were able to surprise them a little bit because uh, we had scouted them so well, and our kids were very motivated to beat such a, a, a very good team. Um, mm. In the past, Indiana Westland has always been some a team that is known nationally with several national championships, um, and and I, you know, like I said, I think it's going to be a surprise this year for us. Right. Um, and then we followed that up with Tennessee Westland, uh, another team that is very uh, quick, um, guard focused, uh, and and last year they were able to surprise some teams especially Marion. Mm -hmm. uh, they beat Marion early in the season. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to this first first weekend that we have with this tournament that we're right. doing. Uh, uh, but like I said before, I can't really get, give up <laughs> too much because they're, I, it's just very unknown. Right. All right. Well, anything else you'd like to add either about the team or this upcoming season? Uh, we're, we're looking forward to it. I think this is going to be one of those years that uh, is where we're going to have to work really hard for what we achieve. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I think it's going to be the most successful year that we've had because of what we have to put into it. No matter what our record is, it may not be what it was last year. It may be better than it was last year, but... Um, we are excited when we talk about every day how this year is going to be our most rewarding year because of the effort that we've got to put into it. All right. Well, thanks for your time today. No problem. Well, there you have it from Coach Tiffany Zellhorst talking a little bit about how the Red Wolves are going to look this year as well as her full roster. Gave that first home game coming up for the Red Wolves on November 4th at Lingle Court against Indiana Wesley. You can check out the full schedule online all the time at IUERedWolves.com. Well, that wraps up this episode of Inside IUE Sports. I'm your host, Caleb Gillock. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.